Welcome to A Pearl in Every Cowslip's Ear. This series was recorded here in our classroom with actual students. You just get to listen in. And we are using Christian Light Education's curriculum, and this is Language Arts 5, Book 1. Language Arts 5, Lesson 6. Today we talk about adverbs and adjectives, two new parts of speech. But before we begin on that, we're going to do a bit of review. Um, which of these two is complete thought, a sentence or a fragment? A sentence is, um, what are the eight being verbs? Am, am, is, are, was, were, be, been, being. Good. Am, is, are, was, were, be, been, being. Um, great. I'm happy with how many you know. What is a verb? It's a word that shows... Action. Action or yeah. being. Great. And what are some ideas? Nouns, name, person, place, thing, or idea. What are a few ideas a noun would name? Joy. Peace, love, happiness, thankfulness, memory, things like that. Things that you can't really touch, but you can still say the, the joy, or our joy. Okay, adjectives, going into adjectives and adverbs. Adject, uh, first of all, we'll talk about adjectives. And adjectives are one of the eight parts of speech. Adjectives describe nouns or pronouns, and they answer a few questions. I'm going to put them up here. Adjectives, they modify nouns and pronouns, and they tell which, whose, how many, and what kind of. Which, whose, how many, and what kind of. Or just what kind. Um, adjectives make our language exciting. They, they help to add a lot of interest to it. If you say, the boy sat in his desk. That tells you what happened, but doesn't tell you anymore. If you go, the happy boy sat in his beautiful desk. Or, the angry boy sat in his dirty desk. We totally changed it. The sentences now mean two totally different things, just with the help of adjectives to modify those nouns that we put in there. Um, so they modify nouns by giving color to them and saying what kind of, or if they tell more about it. Suppose I have a word like this, tree. What are some words we can use to describe the tree? Leaves, okay, a leafy tree. We could tell you the tr say the tree is green, the tree is big. big, it's tall, it's short, it's skinny, it's windy, the tree is wooden. Those are all ad um, adjectives that we're using to describe the tree. Let's go through this first sentence up here. Our dear friend will bring two exciting surprises. And let's first of all underline, let's put two lines under the verb, first of all. Let's find the verb and put two lines under it. What is the verb? Bring. Bring, in fact, will bring, as a helping verb, will bring in. And what are some nouns in here? Uh, surprises. Surprises, excellent, and there's one more. Friend. Friend. Now, what about, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna circle those down. What about for Adjectives. Are there any words describing friend? Like, um, deer. Deer. Deer is an adjective modifying friend, and our also modifies friend. It tells whose friend, which, whose. Deer is telling what kind of. Any adjectives that modify surprises? Exciting. Exciting. What kind of surprises? And two, two tells us how many surprises. So those are all adjectives, our, dear, to, and exciting. Adjectives, remember, modify nouns or pronouns, and they tell which, whose, how many, or what kind of. Now we're gonna talk about adverbs. You get to learn two things in one lesson. Adverbs, and adverbs, huh, let me see how much we're doing about adverbs. Okay, adverb modifies a verb, it answers how, when, or where. All right, so we'll say adverbs modify verbs. Later you'll learn that adverbs modify more than just verbs. They modify adjectives and other adverbs as well. 
But right now we're going to say adverbs modify verbs, and they tell how, when, and where. And just because I know you want to know, they will also modify. They will also tell to what degree. But we're not learning about that now. Adverbs modify verbs, and they tell how, when, or where. Now adverbs. We can add adverbs to our language to make things exciting as well. The boy sat in his desk, or the boy sat angrily in his desk. That tells how he sat. Or the boy sat in his desk yesterday. Tells when he sat in his desk. And then where the boy sat in his desk outside. That tells where he sat in his desk. Let's find some verbs in this sentence. Will. Will. Open. Open. Good. Will open. Now, what are, where's, uh, are there nouns or pronouns in here? There's the we, which is yeah. a noun. Gifts. Gifts. Great. Let's, so let's first of all look for an adjective. I see an adjective that's modifying gifts. Uh, our. Our. This is an adjective. It modifies gifts and tells who's gift. Now, what about the words tomorrow and happily? What do you think tomorrow is telling? It's telling us when. And it's modifying what word? Me. Mm. We wanted to, but it's an adverb, so it has to modify the verb. Will open. It tells when we will open. And happily tells how we will open. So happily and tomorrow till how we will open. Um, find the adverb in the sentence. The girl ran quickly outside. There's actually two ad adverbs in the sentence. The girl ran quickly outside. Two adverbs. Outside. Outside and quickly. Quickly. Good. Um, a good hint for you is to always look for L-Y words. If you see a word ending with L-Y, it's almost always an adjective. There are a few words that end with L-Y that would, I mean adverb. There are a few words that end with L-Y that are not adverbs, but almost all, ad, almost all L-Y words are also adverbs. So the girl ran quickly outside. Quickly is telling how, outside is telling where. Okay, see if you can keep it straight in your head. Adjectives for nouns and pronouns, for like subjects, for nouns and pronouns. Adverbs has a little verb in it, modifies verbs. Um, so now we've got nouns, name, person, place, thing, or idea. Verbs show action or being. Adjectives modify the nouns. Adverbs modify the verbs. We're really stacking that on for you. Okay, finally, let's go and read the spelling words, the spelling word list. Um, I'll just read it to you, and you can listen. And maybe I should just read each word one time, because when I say one word, I'm going to be saying two or three words in this lesson. These are homonyms. They sound exactly the same. First of all is aisle, and when spelled like this, it means like a, a place where you walk in a store, an aisle. Board and board. The first board with an A is like something you would use to build a piece of wood. And then with an E, it is when you're tired, bored. And bow and bow. The first bow is a branch of a tree, a, a bow. And the second bow is a bow of a ship, the front part of the ship that the ship sails with. Course and course. The course with an A would be uh, like sandpaper, really rough. Get the idea of rough. And then with a U would be um, several different things, but one of the things could be like a course in English. You're studying right now. Mm -hmm. Can I have an eraser tomorrow? Yep, I'll give you one. And the next word, fur and fur. The fur with an I is a tree. And the fur with a U is hair, fluffy fur. Heel and heel. One with just double E's is this part of your foot. And then the heel is when a wound gets better. And then heel, finally. And that's he will. Now we're back again to I'll. I apostrophe L L means I will. And I'll, I S L E, means a little island. It looks kind of like the word island. 
Loan and loan. Loan with an A is whenever someone gives you money that they expect you to pay back, they give you a loan. And with an E, it is when you're all alone. Just one. I saw a lone fox ring um, for the next one, and that ring is when you ring a bell. And then veins, A-N-E-S, would be uh, like the veins on a uh, weather vane, a uh, weather, or a windmill has veins, or the veins, the, the slanted things on a water turbine. And then veins with an E-I are these things that are in your body that carry blood or something like that. And then ring again, W-R-I-N-G, and that means to twist violently. You ring out the dish rag when you're finished washing the dishes. Okay, best wishes keeping adjectives and adverbs straight. Enjoy.